Today I am going to share with you some shoes that I got for myself for my 30th birthday. But before we get started, I thought it might be good to add a disclaimer. I've been on YouTube for the past three years and I've developed, I guess, some a uh, sort of label that people have given me, which is that I'm a minimalist. Now I want to emphasize that Minimalism can be an aesthetic and a lifestyle. And I am all about curating, well, I'm all about practicing the curation of your everyday lifestyle, meaning trying to be aware about all the things that you own in your life. Enough of that boring stuff, I'm gonna go talk about the shoes that I got because that's always fun. For my 30th, I've been stuck at home for the past two years. I haven't really done much and I was supposed to go to Disney World for my birthday, but I didn't, so shoes and bags. Okay, so the first slides are these Bottega Veneta embossed maxi woven pool slides. This is the classic woven look of Bottega Veneta, and I actually got these from my mom last year. They fit so well, I really like them, and then this year, I got it for myself. They're super comfortable because they kind of like, like mold to the your feet and they're very nice. So these have black embossed details, it's open toe, it's a flat sole, it's 100% rubber and lining and sole. So I love it because it's all black too. You can do many things. You can walk slowly, you can run. So the next slides that I got are these Yeezy slides. They are from a reseller. I got them from a recommendation from Rhea Bue. I got these Jordan ones, and then I saw that they were also selling Easy Slides, so I got them myself. These are 100% authentic, and they're very comfortable. This is like completing my Kim Kardashian look, because these are from Skims, and then these are from Easy, but they're not together. These are the Bottega Veneta Lido slides. These are flat slides in woven leather done in the signature woven style that Bottega Veneta is known for. It's woven Napa insole, smooth layered outsole, and it's 100% lambskin color. They're very stylish and they have this like cushiony look, so it looks pretty fancy. What do you think, Patrick? That looks dope. Yeah. Hello? Hello? What I do plan on doing is I'm on the Lazada sale. I do plan on getting like these things where you can cover it. And I forgot what they're called, but like these stickers so that you stick it on so that when you wear it, you can just remove the sticker and it's like brand new. That's my plan that I'm sharing with you guys. The next shoes that I got are these Balenciaga track sandals. Um, these are 100% non-leather made of neoprene and rubber. I like the style and that is it, period. It is 84 layered elements on each upper. Balenciaga embossed at the side and the back of the heel, there and there. And there is a dynamic sole with an augmented back. And all you need to do is wipe it if you want to clean it. You know what these shoes remind me of? Like Bratz dolls. Cause they have such like skinny bodies and all this, or like big heads and then they also have really big shoes. This is what it reminds me of. Do you know what Bratz are, Pat? I loved Bratz before. Yasmin or Jasmine, I forgot which. Anyways, it looks cool, Leo. These are the Chanel cord and lambskin shoes. These were released this year. These are the cord sandals. They're very beachy in vibe and they're a bit tight right now because they're fairly new, but it's cute or whatever. These are the Bottega Almond Shoes. They're almond toe flat and crushed Napa. Pat said they look like Peter Pan shoes and I agree, but they're very comfortable. They wrap around your feet. They are called high cut vamp and they're leather covered heels and rubber injected thin leather outsole. It's 100% landskin and it's the color cane sugar, sugar. Sugar. Sugar, how you get so fly? What song was that from? Bash Baby? Baby Bash. Bash Baby. Ash, Ash Baby. All right, so these are the shoes. So I hope you enjoyed the way they looked on my foot. They're very comfortable, I must say. It feels like a blanket on your shoe because it like wraps around your feet. These people are the shiny. <laughs> the Chanel Ballerina Lambskin and Patent 
calf skin. These I originally had in gray, but they were way too small for me and very uncomfortable because I got a really small size. You should always size up with these shoes. It's so weird because some shoes are 36 and a half and some shoes are 37. These are 37. If you are a half size, always size up because this part is very uncomfortable when you have a smaller size. But with Chanel shoes, I must say they have very nice styles, but they're very uncomfortable at the beginning. You have to like wear it in like toe shoes. You know toe shoes, Pat, for ballerinas? Yes. Like with ballerinas, they have to like break it in. And it's the same with this. You have to kind of break it in. But I'm getting the feeling that it's not uncomfortable. Like I haven't felt like it rubbing on the my heel. And I got the gray on black last time, but I prefer black and black. My hope is to be able to curate a collection that is like timeless. That's the goal for me. If there's something I haven't been doing in a while is wearing heels. Like this feels, standing in heels feels like an exercise. Look at what I'm doing. Oh my God, the pain. It is painful. Have you ever worn heels, Pat? Let's make no. you wear heels though. I don't want you to break it, so never mind. So these are the Bottega Veneta Stretch sandals. These are actually quite similar to these ones that I got, but I wanted a lighter shade and I really like these sandals. They're very comfortable. So these are Napa ankle strap sandals with the elongated square toe. The square toe and the square heel are very hip right now, I must say. So there's a stud embellishment, skinny straps, rubber injected heels. These are what make the Bottega shoes comfortable because they have rubber soles. So it kind of gives that friction you need to make you feel very sturdy on the floor. Rubber on a shoe? Now that's crazy. Innovative. Now that's crazy. This is um, the color sea salt. So I wanted a lighter shade to match my very um, neutral collection but I'm already in pain just wearing this. Nice. Ooh, that's why I refrain from getting a lot of heels just because it's very unrealistic for me to wear it, but mostly for photos, videos in the meantime. Oh, for the gram though. For the gram though. Oh. These are the Kate heels, I believe. These are the Christian Louboutin. These are my first Louboutin heels ever. You know what Louboutin is known for, Pat? No. Bags. No, they're known for the red lining at the back, the red heel. That's why a lot of girls like, this is a signature look. This makes you look bougie. Shoes with good construction can last for a really long time. Shoes with poor construction can only wear for like a couple of wears. So these are signature Louboutin heels. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Oh, don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Okay, next shoe. No, I haven't even talked about it yet. These are the Amina Muadi Rose Crystal Embellished Bow Detailed PVC Slingback Pumps. Ah, you know, that kind of thing. Let's do the sound effect. Ah. So these are the rosy PVC pumps fit for a modern fairy tale. Why is it modern, you may ask? It's because of, it's the square heel. This is what she's known for. This is how you distinguish designers on shoes, Pat, they by do. their different iconic like design details in the shoe. So this, okay. Okay, anyways, these um, made in Italy. These are really comfortable, I must say. Like the PVC feels nice. This is the right height mm -hmm. and 100% recommend. The price tag, do not 100% recommend. These are so beautiful. I really love these, especially this color that I got. I feel like this is the right one. I've purchased two boots in the past and I've never really like liked the style because there was always some little detail that wasn't my thing. So as I turned 30, I thought that I would purchase really nice boots. And these are the Chanel boots. They're so beautiful. You have the little logo detailing here and a little like hardware on the side. It's very subtle and cute. And they, they have kai. Kai. You know what kai means? It means cute in Chinese. And it has its classic like two-toned toe thing. It looks nice. I, I definitely think that I should wear something better with That's these, cool. but they're super nice and they're very comfortable. I love them. This is a Chanel laminated lambskin and gross grain black ankle boots. These are just so nice. I love them. There are no notes from Chanel. If you go on the Chanel website, they don't add any like little detailing because they just know that they are the brand. 
And they're like, we don't need to add much embellishment to the shoe. You just appreciate it for the design, period. Because like all these other like high fashion websites still like add this summary where it like details how intricately it's made, it's handmade, woven, etc. You've seen me read through it, but with Chanel, it's just like cross cane, period. And reference number, period. Cool. <laughs> so not only did I get one boot, but I got another boot. So they mix and match. These are the Louis Vuitton boots and they're a bit different. These are the silhouette ankle Ooh, boots. Is this LV though? Let's see that red. <gasps> no, but you know how you know if it's LV? Yeah, because it has red soles, which this don't got. No, it's Louis Vuittons versus Louis Vuitton. Those are two different things, Pat. So Louis Vuitton has the classic monogram. Y'all see that? It's very subtle here, but it's like, I'm Louis Vuitton. And also here, the heel in itself. It has the leather heel with the monogram, the classic monogram that has been there. And this is the most emblematic styles. And the silhouette is very nice because it's very stretchy, so it wraps around your legs. It's super, super flattering. And it's a little bit different from the other Chanel boots because that one has like a like loose fit. This one is more like skin fit. So skin fit. It's like a sock fit. Like you know how Cardi B sings like, I can't even think of it right now, but the one with them socks. Okay, never mind, that's not. Sorry to cringe. <laughs> These are black stretch textile and patent monogram canvas leather outsole. It is a 3.1 inch heel. And the heel is very unique in that it has the classic like monogram heel look. It fits the monogram style. Yeah, so it looks great. I love it. The biggest change I have in my closet for shoes are my sneakers. So these were replaced by the Axel Arigato white heel uh, shoes that I had. I replaced them with a chunkier sole and these gives a platform vibe. These are by Alexander McQueen. These are the soles. Okay. There. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a chunky sneaker and they feel very comfortable. Like it feels like you're walking on a cushion because of the platforms and the construction is super nice. Now that I have new white sneakers, I'm going to always put them in a bag because light exposure is going to turn the sole yellow and also dust, dust. So if you think about dust, the way I think about it now is like volcanic ash. So if you have volcanic ash on a roof, it's going to deteriorate the material. It's the same with any regular dust. I'm not as like deadly as volcanic ash though, but that's the way I like to think of it. Over time, the dust is going to settle and it's going to create that like mark. So I'm going to try my best to keep these in the best condition possible, but also I want to make sure I wear it because you know, gotta appreciate the fruits of your labor. So these are the Chanel sneakers. On Reformation, they use a lot of designer wear and it really looks good with Reformation's clothes. That's probably why internally people really associate Reformation with like really good quality, really good style, just because a lot of the accessories they use are branded. Like for example, I actually saw these pairs of shoes, this pair, but in a different color. Um, the Chanel sneakers on Reformation. And I remember for some dumb reason, I was like, what brand are those? I asked Reformation and they're like, they're from Chanel and they had the logo. So I'm such a dumb butt. Cause back then I didn't know that I thought like it was another like brand that was using the logo or whatever, but me being dumb, I just had to ask. And I actually asked Reformation for a bunch of the shoes. And I think I was specifically asking for the style because I wanted them. They had like a blue lining on the inside. It was super nice, but I'm really happy with this colorway, the black and white. Um, this is like a velvety finish and it has a nice Chanel logo at the back. It's like a little button. This one, so you can put your shoes on without bending it, and I'm very cushiony. These are the Air Jordan ones in Mocha. Now I actually wanted one, but I didn't know how to source, and I had no clue like which colorway would be a nice look. The hype beast don't kill me if I'm saying the name of the sneaker incorrectly, but these ones are the high tops, and apparently if you get low ones or mids they're not as celebrated. So high tops, these are in mocha. I love this colorway, super nice. 
It has a velvety um, finish on the side. This is the classic Nike look. I remember I saw these online on Farfetch and they were like 39,000 pesos. Isn't that crazy? But I didn't get it for that much. So I got them sourced from PH Sneaker. That's the, one, the place that Rhea actually recommended. And I got the color that I wanted. Really fast too. I'm a baller. That was my favorite time. Like that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, when you play basketball, Technologic. When, you on the, when you was on the basketball team. Oh yeah, I was. I was a point guard. Yes. Yeah, in middle school. Oh yeah. Which means that there are no rules in basketball back then. I remember going under somebody's legs. That's how no rules it got. One thing that I also did was when they were doing the free throws. Oh my gosh. So I remember standing on the side and then I just went, go, go! <laughs> The coach had to tell me not to do that. And I was so embarrassed that until now, I still remember how embarrassed I felt. Because I was trying to distract her. So dumb. Don't do that. Did, it work? Did she make her feet up? No, she made. She didn't make it. Oh, strategies. Yeah, that's why they. She. She did it again. <laughs> they uh, pulled me out, and they're like, "Don't do that." And I'm like, "That's unsportsmanship." Like, and also that's not allowed. <laughs> Anyways, these are the shoes. These are cute. These are the hype beast shoes that I got. Let's be cringier. No. Let's be cringy. No. These are the easiest shoes to put on. You just slip it in and... I also really like these uh, laces. They're not the standard like cottony type of lace. Uh, they're like neoprene or something. Okay, I have a sad story to tell you. I actually ruined these shoes. Well, first my cat ruined these shoes. Mm -hmm. I got these shoes. They're brand new. I remember when I got to get my vaccination and I was super excited because I wanted to wear these shoes out for the first time. And then once I got back home, I left it downstairs and it got attacked by the cats. So firstly, there was stuff coming out already, but I made it worse because I watched this tutorial on YouTube saying you can like burn it a little bit because there's like neoprene or something. I forgot what the material is, but you can burn off the loose threads, but I ended up burning the shoe. So um, I'm going to live with this. The fact that I burned these, I'm not going to get rid of these. I might people please suggest what I can do maybe I can add a sticker but these are so comfortable I love these they're so nice in my sortly account these are the Yeezy Boost 350 version 2 in earth I was actually torn between getting the black one or these but I didn't like that red text that went over and I don't have any earthy toned shoes so I went forward with these they're very comfortable. Um, I think the Adidas Easy collab is really nice because they make really comfortable, soft, airy shoes. I know I'm pretty late to the trend, but it doesn't matter because it's about the style that I like and it's not about like getting on the trend. I'm not allowed. I'm not about that life. That's it. These are the last shoes that I purchased and they're very comfortable. They're great. It has like a little stripe that goes across and the shoelaces are all over the place. And I also source these from PH Sneaker Thank Exchange. Hello, the video is ending. Thank you, Patrick. I hope you enjoyed this sneaker video. Pat's like, I didn't, this is boring. I love this, it's so fun. I had a fun conversation with you. I don't know about you. That's talking it. To me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye. Oh, okay. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Skillshare. For those of you who don't know what Skillshare is, it is a platform that gives you access to thousands of videos created by industry leaders and working professionals. The topics can include illustration, design, photography, and business, and just much more. The most unique feature about Skillshare is that they curate videos to help optimize your learning experience. They have intermediate, beginner, expert levels, and they also have projects for you to try to adapt your learning. Another great thing about Skillshare is that they break it down into chapters and you can also see how people are learning in the class. Another feature that I really like is the fact that you can go through transcripts and actually read it if you want to follow along with what the person is saying.
I highly recommend Skillshare and you should try it now. The first 1,000 people to use this link in my description box will get a one month free trial to Skillshare Premium. That is access to some of the best videos out there and the best features within Skillshare. Always cancel your subscription if you don't feel like it's a fit for you, but it's always good to try. So download and try it now. And you can learn a lot within a month.